Dinosaur Valley State Park. Reservations? No. Nope. We do not. Okay, uh, next time please have reservations, otherwise you could be turned away. Okay. On average, on Saturdays and Sundays, we turn around 200 carloads of people per day. Okay. Uh, so today we do have some availability. Uh, for two adults and two kids, it'd be $14 for the day. Okay. Well. All right, all right, those bottom left of the vehicles, windshield. Okay. And then also, if you need to look at our trail map, feel free to download our app. Uh, currently, we are out of trail maps. Okay. And then here's this Junior Ranger Activity Journal, which you guys can complete this page in here, front and back. Then they can earn their Junior Ranger edges. Okay. Thank you, and you guys have a wonderful day Thanks. today. Thank you, you. You just go up here and park? Uh, you or... go left the stop sign, left after the playground will be your best bet for footprints. Left and left. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. In 2009, scientists mapped hundreds of dinosaur tracks along this stretch Ooh. of the Paluxy River. Hundreds of these dinosaur tracks lie underwater, upriver from here. Unfortunately, most are either submerged or not easily accessible. It is almost as if the dinosaurs had just finished a grand dance here. Hence the track site's name, the ballroom. We got a couple of mountain goats here, climbing up the side of mountains. Little treat. How are you gonna climb up that? We don't need to. Either way. <laughs> huh? They found a way out. Oh. Whoa. Smellsy, where are you at? Come here. Oh, okay, up and over. Oh. Up and up. Up the rocks. Go. No, <laughs> not straight up. <laughs> she, she went straight up. <laughs> it's Smellsy, the part belly goat. She just went straight up a rock. Oh, I thought we were like, <laughs> going up and lie down. Check out this pathway. That's pretty cool. Rock and concrete. All right, I don't know if you can see them here, but there's some dinosaur tracks in there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Got some steps here. Well, I guess that's the actual steps right there. What's this here? Not steps? They look cool. There's your bridge to go across. Here, check out this dinosaur track. You can really see that one in there. In the camera, it kind of looks like a middle finger. There's another one, and there's another one. Emma's gonna go for a swim. I wanna go for a swim. There, you can see them. This is some uh, off the clear water. Look how clear that water is. The two girls way up ahead of us. On some chicken path trail. Chicken path? That's the pose. Oh, look at here's grandma coming down the steps, taking the safe way. When all of us came down, just off the lit ledge. Look, it's Casper the Friendly Ghost. In a rock. Which dinosaurs do you think left the tracks here at Dinosaur Valley State Park? Visitors often think that the dinosaur tracks in the park were made by a Tyrannosaurus Rex or the Apatosaurus, well, these two, the T-Rex, That's a long Apatosaurus. That, this guy looks happy. Although the famous in part, although famous in part of the world's fair exhibit, these two dinosaur species left no tracks here. In fact, they didn't even live in this, this time, at the same time as, as each other. 
The tracks you'll see here at Dinosaur Valley State Park were actually made by a smaller relative of the Apatosaurus, known as the Sauroposidon. <laughs> sure. Posidon. And a smaller relative of the famous Tyrannosaurus, known as Acrocanthosaurus. Both illustrated in this model. Huh. There you go. You learn something every day. Girls, is he big? Trucker's brother, right there. Brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. <laughs>